In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the format time event to transform a date time variable like this into a formatted text string like this. To demonstrate how this event works, I'm going to grab the current time from within my action, which comes out in this format here, and then reformat this into a text string in the format year, month, and then day, and then display it as a response variable inside of my endpoint. Okay, so to set this up, I'm first going to create an endpoint, which is going to be called format current time. I'm going to give this a path, call it format current time. Next, I'm going to save the endpoint down like so. Next, I need a corresponding action, which I'm going to call format current time. And I'm going to associate this action with my format current time endpoint like so. Next, I'm going to get the current date time from inside my action, which can be done by adding a date time variable, setting the label to current date time, and the name to current date time, and then checking the now option here. Next, I'm going to add a second text variable, which I'm going to call date time format, and I'm going to set the date time format here to 2006 forward slash 01 forward slash 02. So this will be the date time format that I'm going to convert my current date into. So this is going to be year, month, and day. So why do we use the date January 2nd, 2006? Well, this is just how the Golang code that we are going to auto-generate works. If you check out the reference documentation, you will see there is a list of formats here that are accepted and all of them are made with reference to January the 2nd, 2006. So next, I'm going to add the format time event from inside the time events here, and I'm going to give a short description to it. I'm going to type in format the current time to the format year, month, day. I am then going to set the events input variable to be the current date time variable. I am then going to set the layout to be equal to the format that I want to transform the current date time into. And I'm going to set the response variable here to formatted date time. Finally, I'm going to set the response variable here equal to my formatted date time, like so. So the final step is to build my code and test it. So I'm going to go back into my endpoint and I'm going to click on the run button up here. Next, I am going to check the format of the response variable here. And as you can see, this variable is in the format year, month, day. So we've successfully formatted the current time from this format into this format. If you would like to compare this with the current time variable that is not being formatted, you can switch over the response variable inside your action here, and you can switch this to the current time. Now, if we rebuild our code and we go back into our endpoint, you can see that now when we run our endpoint, you can see here that the current time is not formatted, and so it returns like so.